Hello everybody and welcome back and let us explain uh, in theory what the attack that we will be performing is actually. So we covered in the previous video what ARP protocol is and I also said that the ARP protocol is the fundamental of the man in the middle attack. Now the man in the middle attack basically starts off with something called the ARP spoofing. Now the ARP spoofing is basically the same if you want to look at it, for example, the MAC address spoofing is us changing our MAC address to someone else's MAC address. The ARP spoofing would be us pretending to be to be someone we are not. So let me just open up a paint right here and let us draw a simple victim PC right here. So this is a victim PC. Let's say this right here is our router and this is our Kali Linux machine. So we are the attacker and now we know, let me just finish this screen right here. I will select it with A so you know that this is the attacker machine. And now we know what the ARP uh, protocol is. So in order for this victim PC, uh, PC to communicate with the router, it has to know its MAC address. So that's how they communicate. So basically this PC knows to who to send the packet for the internet uh, once it finds out the router's MAC address. So it knows then that it should send the packet to the router in order for it to continue to the internet. So the packets go uh, something like this and then the router once it uh, uh, once it receives the packet from the victim it forwards it to the website or to other machine wherever the packet this is going to. Once the other machine or the other packet from the internet receive, uh, sends the answer, the router then says, oh, this is the answer for, or basically this is the answer for this victim machine right here, and it sends the response back. So this is how normal connection works. Uh, basically, uh, the basic connection between the victim PC and the router, and then between the router and a certain website. And then they uh, send back and forth the responses and requests. Now let me just, how can I undo this? So that was a normal connection. Now once you run the ARP spoofing, it means that you actually pretend to be someone who you're not. So we modify the ARP packets and we send to the router that the, basically the MAC address of the victim PC is our MAC address. And we send to the victim that the MAC address of router is our MAC address. Now what I mean by that, once the, for example, this PC sends an ARP request for to find out where the router is, we basically send that victim PC an ARP reply and we say the router is at my MAC address. And then this victim PC will think that we are the router and therefore all of its packets it will send to us from then. And then we can filter these packets or we can see these packets, we can basically see what the victim has sent and also if you were to only do this, if you were to only spoof the victim or basically if you were to only spoof the router, you wouldn't be able to forward the packets. So you need to spoof both victim and both router. So after this, uh, you need to spoof as well the route, the MAC address of the victim. So once the router says who is uh, at this IP address of this victim, you reply with the MAC address of that IP address is me. So basically instead of the connection going like this to the router, it goes to us and then from us to the router. And then router sends it to some website and receives the packet back. And since it is spoofed with ARP protocol, now router thinks we are the victim PC and it should send the packet to us. So it again sends it back to us and we forward the request back to the, or reply back to the victim PC. So the victim PC doesn't notice anything, only maybe a little bit slower connection. And we can read all of the packets that are flowing between these two. So for example, if this PC was to log in onto an HTTP, website with a login username and password, we would be able to see that in the plain text. 
So that is the basic idea of the man in the middle attack. Now you can do a lot of things which we will cover. For example, you can switch the downloading files in the process of, of uh, downloading them. You can also to show, you can also catch a screenshot from the victim's PC or mobile phone. You can also do all sorts of things. For example, flip their images or basically switch their images or redirect them to a certain websites to some uh, evil websites that you host or basically anything you want. You can also try to run some of the script attacks if it uh, sends it to the website, to some kind of a website. Uh, you can also just inspect the packets and not do anything and hope that the victim will log in on some page that you can inspect packets in. Now, uh, there is one thing that we need to also know that there is an HTTPS website. So, for example, if the victim right here wanted to visit an HTTPS website while it, while being ARP spoofed, the HTTPS packet would go to us and then to the router. But, but since, uh, but because of the design of the HTTPS, we would not be able to read the packet in plain text. Now, if the HTTPS is running on SSL, we can perform the SSL strip. And if the HTTPS is running on TLS, or basically, let's say this victim wanted to connect to the Facebook and type in username and password, we would not be able to see that username and password in plain text since Facebook is running on TLS and we cannot decrypt TLS. So we will only be able to do this on HTTP websites and see the passwords in plain text and on some HTTPS websites that we can perform as a cell strip on. So that would be about it for the theory behind this attack. So we will cover some of the basics later on and we will also perform some of this with it and try to do a bunch of other things such as switching pictures on the website, redirecting, uh, capturing uh, usernames and passwords and so on and so on. Now that would be about it for this lecture. Uh, we will continue with the man in the middle attack in the next one and I hope I see you there. Bye.